infrastructure and infrastructure programs at the present time are absolutely vital. In the short term, they're a way of uh, providing a stimulus in terms of jobs, uh, economic activity, uh, which will be good for government finances, but good just for general sort of buzz around, around the place, something going on. Um, they're also a way if we can get investment into the regions, they're a way of correcting an imbalance whereby London and the South East is getting a little bit overheated in some respects and the region's lagging behind. So if we can put infrastructure projects big time into the regions, that helps to correct that. And obviously, if we can put in place now world-class infrastructure, then that'll hold us in good stead for the next 20, 30 years. I mean, this is a great opportunity in a, in a curious kind of way to really get things moving. I mean, I think I've heard lots today that's been very interesting. Uh, I think it's, I was surprised when uh, Mr. Miliband decided to major on the European Union. Uh, but then as he developed his argument and said, we've got to make the case for why this is a good thing, I understood that. I thought that was really rather good and rather cogent. I thought that was very good. Um, I thought equally the launch of the CBI's paper on education, key issue, key presentation here. And I thought David Cameron was, um, Full of energy, full of you know, get up and go optimism. You could say it's a little bit too optimistic given the times, but I think that kind of you know, stop being so gloomy about everything is very good. Our key challenges for our business, are, as you say, are the same for all businesses, and indeed, it's the business of other businesses that is our business. So you know, we're all tied together. I mean, obviously, it's a question in, in from our point of view. If you look look at the look, look at the materials we've produced here and, and our contribution to this debate. You know, we believe that we are in a new normal economy. Uh, growth rates will not be as fast as they have been in the past. Um, there is something around the valuation of businesses and people waiting for things to get better, which we think is a false prospectus. So we do think again, terribly important that we take rational decisions and not just hope things will get better or get back to the past. I think that's the key issue for business generally and certainly for us as well. And, and finally, I mean, CBI conference, um, do you think it's important um, for businesses to have events like this and, and why? Oh yes, I mean obviously there's all the sort of networking, you meet new people, you make, you make conversations, it's great for us to get our clients here and, and, and to see us in, in, in a wider context as well. Um, I think also a, a little known thing about this is, I mean the speaker list is extraordinary. And I think it's very important for business to understand how important they are, how they have a voice, how they've got something to say. I think the CBI conference provides precisely that. And I think, you know, if you hear the buzz around the place now as we're at lunch and things, it's a good idea, it's really good.